YouTube, what's up, what's happening? Here I am bringing you another video. And we're going to go over some uh, stencils today and how to make a stencil. And uh, if you've watched my uh, airbrush stencils uh, tutorial video, you kind of know the different types of stencils already. Um, but today we're going to go over how to make one. Um, you know, and we could always uh, use different kinds of materials. Um, and here I have some different materials. Um, as you can see, this is uh, pretty hard plastic, um, and this is actual stencil material that's sold at the stores. Um, you know, and this stuff's pretty good if you find, like, uh, you know, I, I don't know what what exactly is the name of the brand or whatever, but it's like some stencil easy or show-offs <clears throat> or something like that. And uh, that material is really good. It's resistant to a lot of different types of chemicals and stuff. And here I have one that I've made out of paper, as you can tell, the back, you know, and it, it's like just a, like a manila folder, or like you could use, um, you know, like those postcards that you get in the mail always trying to sell you stuff, you know, that's like, um, you know, like that postcard kind of, you know, it's, it's like thick paper, uh, that works really good. And then here I have just some plastic that I had found around that I thought was kind of like this one, but actually not as thick and it's kind of flimsy but it still works pretty good and uh, I, I forget where I got this plastic but it's it, it was used for some other kind of chemicals so this is pretty resistant to chemicals as well uh, but you can see that this one's um, a lot stiffer even though it's smaller and this one's kind of like you know floppy and stuff this one doesn't do that um, but yeah you can pretty much make stencils out of anything you know even just a regular sheet of paper will work obviously you won't be able to reuse it as much and if you stick it on something it could rip you know so you always want to use something kind of uh, thick you know like you know you can use paper as long as it's thicker like that postcard type stuff and um, yeah um, but what I have over here is some plastic that we're gonna use today yeah and if you guys wonder I have like tons of these like stencils up the wazoo um, you know, I even have some that are made out of, uh, like, felt. And this works pretty good if you uh, spray it with some clear, like some just regular clear coat. Um, and then you use them. The clear coat makes them, like, um, you know, impermeable so the paint doesn't really go through them anymore. And uh, they're, you know, nice and bendy and stuff. And you can use these and, you know, like these I've had for, like, quite a few years already. So as this one, you can tell, it even has a nice... Um, caked on layer all around the edge and these are good because they just don't rip they're really strong um, so these will last a really long time the plastics always good too as you can see I have tons of plastic ones um, so those are always good um, but yeah what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make some we take some of our uh, plastic material and we're gonna make us a stencil just to give you guys an idea of how to make a stencil uh, and this, you have, I have this sheet over here that I've already kind of used for other ones. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just, you know, make ourselves a little skull stencil. So you're going to need a blade. Um, you know, obviously it works really good if you have a handle. My handle has green paint on it. I don't remember how that got there, but it's there and it's going to stay. But I have a fresh new blade. I have a nice blade handle. It works really good. If you could get your hands on a silicone mat, it works really good. Otherwise, a piece of glass is what I would recommend. Um, you just got to be careful with your blade on the piece of glass because it will break. Um, so you got to be careful with that. But uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a nice little skull on here using a marker. And then we're going to cut it out using the blade. But let me go ahead and draw this skull on here and then we'll get started. As you can see, I just drew out a basic skull there, uh, nothing too fancy or anything like that. And we're going to start off by just cutting out the whole thing. Um, you know, this is this is a you know a more intricate stencil than you know something like this. This is actually you know have some inside cuts and stuff. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to start off by just cutting it out, 
and then you know I'll explain the process of how to cut some of these inside lines. So as you can see, I've cut out my stencil and uh, you know it's just a basic skull, nothing super crazy. Uh, <clears throat> but what you want to remember is everything you cut out is going to be there when you spray it, right? So we want to start off by cutting out these eyes. Obviously, you know, we want the eyes or this eye sockets on the skull to be, you know, black when we spray black over them and the nose area. Um, then we're going to come in and cut some of these lines and uh, lines are a little bit more complicated um, but you do want to keep in mind that you know you, you want to cut out the areas that you want to show when you spray over the stencil okay so we're going to start off by cutting off these eyes and then I'm going to kind of show you guys how I cut lines and and why I do it that way and uh, why it, it could help to have lines in your stencil Alright, so as you can see, I've cut out the main areas here uh, on this stencil. And uh, just to show you, you know, you can kind of see these areas here in white are cut out. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start doing some lines. I'm going to start with this line over here just to kind of show you guys. Um, what you want to do is actually cut out the blue on this. Uh, you want to follow it around all the one edge of the blue and then you're going to want to come in all around the other edge of the blue and that's going to cut out this line um, and you will be able to spray that line and you'll have it as a guideline uh, when you use your stencil obviously when you get down here there's more lines all connected um, you know so you want to be careful you don't want to actually cut out every single thing uh, here you kind of want to just you know this line here I would not connect it to that line I'd leave a space there make sure your blade doesn't cut through um, to that side when you're using these blades it will just fucking slice if you're not careful so you, you want to leave a little bit of a gap here um, on these and that's just so that this actually stays um, you know on the stencil and in place uh, when you're using it um, you could always go back when you're spraying and add, you know, your shading under here, which you're going to have to do. Um, and that'll kind of, you know, hide what where your stencil cut is. Uh, same thing with the teeth. You kind of want to, you know, make lines, but you don't want all of them connected. You want to kind of do it like, um, you know, in sections. Um, if you want one of these teeth to be missing, obviously you'd cut out the whole tooth. Um, but you know for the most part you know you just follow the line but you know the next you know arc over the tooth you wouldn't want to connect them right you want to just end that one there and start a new one and leave a little bit of space in between these um, just so that there's uh, again so the stencil stays in place and so it stays connected to the stencil and uh, you don't have an extra floating piece like this um, so yeah I'm going to start off by cutting some of the some of the easier ones and then I'm going to move down here um, I'll speed up through some of the easier stuff and then I'll kind of you know slow it down so you guys can kind of see how I'm doing these over here
<clears throat> so as you can see, we got it all cut out, and um, we switched to this darker side over here. Um, so you kind of see uh, all these lines here are all cut out. Um, better see on that side. Um, you know, and it's just to give you a good indicator of where their teeth are. Um, again, you're going to come back and freehand in your other stuff. But this is just a stencil, so it's just a guideline of what you're painting. Um, it's not really just a spray and leave. Um, you have to spray it and then work around it, just like any other stencil. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much the stencil right there. And that's how I usually go about making them. Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Um, or if you, if you have any other videos you want to see, um, you know, go ahead and drop it in the comments and uh, I'll get around to it. Uh, my schedule's getting busier because it's summer, but, you know, I'll try to stay on these videos for you guys. Uh, but there you go. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.